Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today it is time for the final zoo tour of our winter mini zoo series that we uploaded throughout the month of December. And obviously, I could not resist to open this file in sandbox mode, so I was able to let it snow a little bit to get in some more winter vibes for this zoo tour. Now, we're going to turn it off as well because it's like walking around with some snow is like super frustrating. But of course, because this is a little December zoo tour, we are going to add some festival lighting in here as well. So we are going to raise this one up and uh, if you're going to download this zoo yourself from the Steam Workshop, you can uh, obviously just delete this one if you want to. Or you can raise it just like I did and you will have some festive decorations in this zoo. I do like it. It looks so beautiful. Now, I did also try to see if it would look nice, if we would like make it uh, darker. Like, the lights are really fun, but I feel like for a tour on my channel, it is not really the best. Like, it's, it's not super bright. So I would suggest if you want to look at the zoo with all the festive lighting as well in like a, a darker time, definitely go and just download the zoo with the link in the description of this video. So now, without further talking, let's go and walk around through this winter mini zoo series and uh, i did try but it didn't really work out I, I did try to hide like a lot of coolers underneath all the path to see if the snow would stay longer i think it will stay longer but mm, it doesn't stay as long as i want to unfortunately but i i just really love like the snow on the trees and stuff this is like such a beautiful vibe to walk through so uh, yeah i don't know maybe we will turn on some snow every now and then to uh, to get some snow back in the trees i don't know but we have some some shops here at the entrance we have some atms and a, and a little a little uh, church entrance i'm still not sure if i like it or not but uh, a lot of you did really like it so i decided to keep it in anyways so we have some shops on this side we have some shops on that side. So let's go to the right side. Oh, no, that's not. No, we want to go to the raccoons first. This was the very first habitat that we built for this series inspired of Rotterdam Zoo. This little cabin and a little bit of the shape of this habitat. These cute little guys now have some uh, really nice uh, Christmas trees and like a star and stuff. I am a little bit disappointed about the, the festive stuff in the pack to be completely or like not in the pack like just in the game in general like i'm really missing out on like some really nice snow patches and, and snowmans and uh, all the decorational stuff is actually way too big so that was a little bit of a disappointment but i guess i guess we have to work with this and then you <laughs> use a lot of things at the same time like like a lot of double things and stuff but it's all right. This looks really cute, though, at this time, but you can't really do that with that many signs, unfortunately. But definitely really nice habitat. Uh, maybe they use need, need a little bit more water in here, but other than that, I think it looks really nice for these cute little trash pandas. Where are you going? Let me look at you. You are just so adorable. And they are able to also climb up onto the roof right over here, which is also something they can do in real life in Rotterdam Zoo, which I just absolutely love. So uh, I just uh, really, really like this habitat. So now let's go to the right side and we go to the Japanese macaque. Now this is the only habitat that I could not really add too many uh, festive decorations. I feel like it's not like super um, easy to, to add it. So we only have some, some Christmas trees on one and the other side but um they they have hot springs and these hot ties but unfortunately the japanese macaque is bugged at least in my game i have no idea if you guys have the same but they just never never use it did i did they ever use it no last time zero zero nope they are just completely bugged which is such a pity because it would have been just super amazing to see the japanese macaque in their habitat enjoying these hot tabs but it is what it is i guess it's not 
on my end, unfortunately, so I am able to fix it. So uh, it's up to Frontier to do that. I did report it a while back already, but uh, yeah, I don't know why it has not been fixed. So now we go to yes, let's go to the let's 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 make it snow just a little bit again. Just because we can. These guests are freezing because of all the coolers underneath the the, the, the path. <laughs> this is the uh, Amur Leopard Habitat inspired of Artisu. And just for the Christmas decoration deck, obviously, you can download this habitat or like a lot of the fencing and stuff. Now I already... Oh, there is my mouse. But um, yeah, it's it's not like the complete habitat. It's like, come on. Oh, man. Yes, it's so busy here. I don't know what these guests are doing, but it's just extremely bad. <laughs> but yeah, we have some Christmas trees just for the decoration because there was just not really a different way to add some Christmas lights in here. So I thought, you know, I'm just going to add some Christmas trees in the middle right over here. But yeah, these guests here... They all just want to look inside of this uh, this little cave where the Armour Lambert can be in. Or, or maybe they just want to walk over it. I just don't know. I don't know. Oh, there is one Armour Lambert. But these silly guests just all want to want to take this, this, this path instead of just the other way. Because everything else is like not so busy in here. This one goes goes all the way to the other side of the zoo, but we are not going to take this path. I just wanted to show you there. There's a cave underneath here that the Amur Leopard can get some privacy. And this one is more open, so the guests can look into it with this one-sided glass or from this little section right over here. But yeah, they, they, they just all want to walk this path, unfortunately. <laughs> These silly, silly guests. Okay, I'm going to turn off the snow because else it will be too much snow in my opinion. I'm going to make it cloudy. And then right over here we have the ice skating rink. And this one, uh, I just really do like this one. This is definitely also to celebrate December a little tiny tad. And then right over here we have some uh, nice little Christmas market. With a lot of Street Fox coffee, because I can't imagine that these guests are just freezing cold, but no one actually wants some some Street Fox coffee right now <laughs> to warm up. But uh, yeah, oh, we have some, uh, some red pandas, by, by the way, right over here. This is a little bit inspired of Red Arnhem Zoo Blydorp, the, the new red panda habitat that they have. Not the whole habitat, only just a little bit of the mountain, I guess. We have a lot of Christmas lights here as well. And we, of course, should be having some cute little red pandas in here. They might all be inside. That could be. But yeah, this, this, this rock formation looks a little bit plain in my opinion. But they are able to walk over here, which I find just super cool. So I, I do really like... Uh, that feature, but I, I would have added a little bit more smaller rocks to the edge, for example. But then, like to make sure that the rat panda is still able to walk here, um, you you would need to make it a lot bigger, and that doesn't really feel right with these cute little rat pandas, in my opinion. So they have an indoor section as well. Maybe the guests are all indoors. Oh, you are doing a tour. Well, enjoy. I don't know how many. Oh, look, there are so many kids. Oh gosh, okay, she she's probably super happy with that. <laughs> we have some more Christmas lights right over here, and then we can go inside. Look at all these festive decorations! <laughs> I like it though, it, it looks so cute. So right over here, oh yes, they are all inside. We have the red panda habitat. I'm trying to not say rat, guys. R red panda, red panda. <laughs> I'm doing my best to say the, the, t, the, the D as a D and not like a T, but it's so hard. But yeah, if you find it silly how I say it, I'm just trying to do my best to not say it wrong. But, oh man, I do really like this. This is so cool with like all the tropical vibes in here and like the logs and stuff where they can uh, climb onto. They can actually also climb in here, but for some reason they don't really care, so they just stay on the outside, I guess. But it's a really cool 
nice indoor area here. And then we have a little badger area as well with a little burrow for the badger to also uh, get some uh, some relaxation in there because if they go outside here they are pretty stressed unfortunately these these animals get pretty stressed very uh, fast look at all these beautiful christmas lights love it okay so now we can go to here and this is the outdoor section and the now we are playing sandbox mode so i guess yeah they're all 100% but you will notice if well actually you can't really open this in franchise mode but you can open this with management so you will notice that these animals will be pretty stressed when they are outside unfortunately let's go right over here to the arctic fox that yes we have a bigger viewing gallery right over here pretty long viewing gallery we have a lot of kits in here as well, which is just super adorable. Wait, was there? Wait, why do I see movement? <gasps> Wait, what? Oh, those, <laughs> those are balloons. I thought they were like, uh, the was like an Arctic fox escaping or something. But oh gosh, all these balloons coming out of their roof. But yeah, they have a pretty big Havas hat here at pretty much the end of the zoo on, on the other side of the entrance, if you can call it that way. So they have a pretty big area here to roam around, to have a drink on this side. And let's go to the uh, the viewing galleries down here, if we just follow the path right over here. I actually noticed that I did not decorate that area, but it's all right. So we, <laughs> gosh, it's so busy here. We have a viewing gallery right over here into the habitat. And then if we move forward, we have another viewing gallery right over here, which is the one where all the balloons are sticking out. I actually had no idea. So the guests can see the Arctic fox really up close. Look at this little one. Oh, they're so cute. So fluffy. Oh, gosh. Yeah, well, that's also a way, a way to, to just look at the animals. Just walk through the glass. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the guests can also see the Arctic Fox from here. And then obviously, they also have another viewing gallery right over here at the water section. So now we move on right over here. We can go... I, I just want to wanna have some snow again. So let's turn it on again a little bit. And then we can go here to the... Wait, is that... Yes, okay, this is the Amur Leopard. So right over here, we have the reindeers. Like... I wasn't planning to add the reindeers in here, but I'm just so happy that I did. And yes, I did use the barn that we also used for the tropical franchise mode that we did. I just I just saw pictures of reindeer habitats with like these big barns. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to add that big barn because I feel like it's just too cute to not use it. And it just works super well as well for this particular biome in here. And look at all this beautiful snow just laying down here on the rooftop. Absolutely love it. And then right over here, the guests can also get some more Sweet Fox coffee and some food and stuff. But it's now super... It's not busy because we are in sandbox mode. I think that is why. Because I feel like if we just click the guests... Oh, I lost my mouse again. <laughs> can I click you? Where is my mouse? Ah, oh, see, I'm lost. I lost it. Okay, turn it off. Turn it off. I found you. Yes. Okay, yes. All the happiness and welfare of these guests are 100%. So that is why they're not using it. They only are freezing still. <laughs> and then right over here, there is like this little indoor stables for the reindeers, which was made for the um, Chevalsky's horse originally in the tropical franchise mode. But I think it works perfectly fine for some cute little reindeers in here with some festive lights as well. And then we go to already, like, this is a pretty, pretty mini, mini, mini zoo. So we already go to the last habitat, which is the striped skunk. And uh, it's super sad, but if you have been watching the whole series that we did, like the Let's Play series, actually, you guys pointed out to me, I, I totally missed out on that. 
but we had a female striped skunk never getting offspring, and it turned out when she passed away, like two minutes before that, she turned out to be pregnant. <laughs> Gosh! So finally, she got pregnant, and then two minutes later, she died of, died of old age. So that was just super sad. But yes, we can definitely say we do not have any issues anymore. Just look at this one. Is that just super adorable? Oh gosh, you are. <laughs> I just want to cuddle you, but if only you would not smell very bad sometimes, then, then I would. <laughs> but definitely really cool habitat. Definitely more of like a... Uh, what is it called again? I actually don't know. It's just a smaller habitat. Oh, nocturnal house. That was the word I was looking for. Look at that Christmas tree. Fits just perfect in the middle right over here. But yes, this nocturnal house definitely uh, is, is one of the best habitats of this zoo, I think. I, I just so much love it. It, it was actually a little bit too tiny still, so that's why I had to extend it with like these these outdoor sections right over here but it was so much fun to build this one and to make it actually work that the uh, striped skunk is able to use it everywhere so yeah that is definitely super cool i think i also need to reduce the amount of guests in here <laughs> a lot and right over here they have another oh look at this little one they have another little outdoor area don't you want to cuddle this one it's so adorable <laughs> So yeah, they can also just play around right over here. Some more festive lights to enjoy and, and close off this month of December and the close of the year in 2022 already. It's been a really small and short journey for December, but it was a lot of fun uh, to build it. But also have to admit, I enjoy a, a tropical zoo a little bit more, or at least a warmer climate zoo. Like the tundra and taiga biomes are just not, not really my most favorite zoo. So I'm happy that it was only like eight episodes and eight habitat animals long and not too much longer. Even though I know that some of you were really excited to see more animals being added in this zoo. For me, I just really feel like it was enough. And then in the new year, we are going to make a lot more mini zoos, but they are going to be a little bit longer and bigger than this particular series and also a lot more detailed. So yeah, definitely stay tuned for that. Nonetheless, I do really hope you guys did enjoy this winter mini zoo series that we did over the month of December. And I obviously do hope that you all had a wonderful Christmas and with New Year's Eve coming up I can only hope and wish you all a really fun New Year's Eve of course hopefully you are able to celebrate it with your family and or friends and of course for 2023 I am wishing you all a very happy and especially healthy new year thank you all so much for all your amazing support in 2022 really really do appreciate it and let's go and rock the new year 2023 thank you all so much for watching leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already yeah i just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one thank you guys so much for watching bye guys